Hey guys, so for this week's video, we're going to look into one feature of Node.js that I just can't seem to comprehend. Why can't I simply use import statements in my files? I do it in all my other Next.js, React and TypeScript apps, which I understand are run through a bundler. But why is it so hard for Node.js to just support this out of the box? Well, turns out they actually kinda maybe support it. So let's say I want to start a new Node.js project. So I can use the npm init y tool to initialize my project with a package.json file so the package.json file is here generated for me our entry point is uh, index.js so let's create this file so touch index.js so let's also say we want to add a new utility in our project called let's say math math.js so in our math.js file we can export a function that say adds two arguments and returns the result and we want to use this add function in our index.js file so naturally we're going to import the add function from our math.js file and then we can call this math function directly that adds one and two so the product of this will be logged to the console so all this looks pretty standard right so in our console we can directly call our file using the node command so node index.js but that doesn't work so you're getting a warning to load an es module set the type module in the package.json or use the .mjs extension so let's try both of these suggestions so the first suggestion is the easiest to implement so what we need to do is open our package.json file and then add type module to it so this should be enough let's try to rerun our command again so node index.js so that doesn't really fix the error for us so we are receiving another error message could not find module home yes math so it's like the import is not working again so there's a hint here did you mean to import math.js so they know what i want to import but it looks like you have to explicitly add a .js extension for this to work so let's try this too so in our index.js file Let's change this import and add the JS extension to it. So let's try to rerun the same command. So finally, we're getting a value logged into the console. So to get this working, we had to add explicit extensions to the imports and also add a type module to the package to JSON file. So there was the second method that they were suggesting where we had to change the file names to end in .mjs instead of .js. So let's just try that. So let's remove this type module in the package.json file. And then in the console, we can rename the index.js file to index.mjs. And also rename the math.js file to math.mjs. So also, let's make sure to change this .js extension to point to the mjs file. So if we run node index.mjs, it should now work. So that sort of fixes the import issue for us. I don't really care about uh, adding the extension to the imports, but some people have strong feelings about this. So is there a way I could still use the imports but get rid of .mjs extensions? Well, if you look into their docs, file extensions are mandatory. So for all imports, you have to have file extensions. Well, this is because um, the Node.js implementation of ES imports is uh, the same as the implementation for ES imports in the browsers. And in the browsers, you have to provide file extensions in order to, all, to load script files. And we're going to look into this later, but ES modules can run both in Node.js and on the browser. That essentially is the reason why the rules are the same in both Node.js and the browser. But just because it's mandatory doesn't mean there is no way around it. So you can, for example, implement a custom loader that will allow you to just import your file without the extension part and then add the extension during the compile process. So let's, for example, create a new file called esloader.mjs. So we are going to follow the Node.js custom loader syntax which essentially states that uh, you can export a resolve a resolve function which gets three props a specifier the context and the default resolve so if we pass this es loader file as a loader node.js will call this resolve function before continuing with the compilation process so as a start we could just return the default inbuilt resolve function so if you have used callbacks this is just like a, a next function that you call 
to continue execution. So you could change the default to solve to next, for example. So as a simple uh, first step, we could just check if the specifier, uh, so it's a string. So let's say if the specifier starts with a, a dot and a forward slash. So this is like a, a relative import. We make sure to add a dot mjs extension. So next, and then we just do the specifier plus dot mjs, and then we pass on the rest of the props. And also just to be safe, we could make sure that uh, we skip anything that uh, ends with the uh, js and uh, mjs so anything that ends with js we also we skip anything that ends with js and mjs so this simple loader should work so we just check if the import starts with a dot and a forward slash that means it's a relative import so make sure to append dot mjs at the end of it and also make sure that uh, if it ends with mjs or js don't do anything to it just continue the compilation process so let's test this uh, simple loader so in uh, index.mjs we could uh, remove the extension part of the import to run this we still use the node command but to make sure that we add the loader argument which should point to our es loader.mjs and then pass in the function that we want to run so you can see that runs successfully without any errors but also we are getting a warning here like uh, custom es loaders is an experimental feature and might change at any time so it's just a warning that you can ignore so you can actually turn off the warning by adding the no warnings argument just before you add your loader so that should run without any warnings so that fixes our imports issue so remember I mentioned that uh, this code can run on the browser without any problem or any compilation step. So let's try to set that up. So let's for example create an index.html file and then we can add the usual HTML tags. So we want to be able to import this index.mjs file here. So you could import it right below the body tag. So the trick is to make sure that your script has a type module to be able to import yes modules in your file and then we can point it to our index.mjs file another important thing is that uh, yes module imports like this cannot work outside of our http server so you can't just open this file in your browser and it runs you need to have a server to serve it so for example this index.html file is being served on localhost 5500 so let's open the console to see if our code is running. So we are getting a 404 error here for the math.mjs file. Oh, I think this is uh, probably because we removed the file extension. We are going to go back to using the, the direct file imports. So that should have fixed the issue. Looks like uh, the file has been loaded and the console should print the results of our add function. So just like that, we are able to import files that use import statements without doing any compilation process. Now, what if this file import used, say, an external module, maybe from node modules? So let's say we add the loader dependency. So in our math.mjs file, so let's say we import loader in this file, import underscore from loader, and then maybe instead of uh, as an example instead of adding the two numbers we could just pass them to loader.add now locally we can run this via node index.mjs and it should uh, successfully run but if you look at the browser we are seeing an error printed on the console there failed to resolve module specifier loader there's no way for the browser to find the loader module since it's installed locally and i don't think the browser has file system access that brings up another cool feature of yes modules so in yes module you can import a package directly from a url so instead of loader here we could say import it directly from the unpackage.com registry so does this run locally let's try it so if you try to run it locally you get an error only urls with a scheme in file data and node are supported by the default esm loader so http or other protocols are not supported so we are getting a different error from the browser that is uh, looks a bit more promising the requested module does not provide an export named default so i think when you're importing it from a url you need to also make sure that the import is an es module so let's try that actually what we can do first is uh, try to use 
another package registry to load it so maybe let's try skypark skypark is the same registry that uh, i think dino uses to import modules like this so maybe it should work in our case here so let's save it and then try to check the browser yeah it looks like uh, skypark works correctly out of the box so although URL imports like these are cool, you can't really use them because if your code is shared between the browser and the and Node.js, they will load in the browser and Node.js will refuse to load them. So it's really stupid. But I always like problems like this because there's always a way to circumvent them. So for example, if you want to use this on uh, Node.js and the browser, and avoid these issues that uh, we have looked into we could for example just keep the loader import right yeah if we run these on node.js it will run successfully and then for the browser we use something called import maps so import maps allow you to map imports to specific urls or files so for example for loader we could add a script and then the type of that script should be import maps and then inside that script tag we initialize an object with an import ski and then the import we want to map to which is loadash and then the url we want to map it to which is a sky pack so if we open this in the browser our function should be loading without any errors and if you look at the network tab you can see that loadash has been loaded from a uh, sky pack and then the same file locally loadash is loaded from node modules yeah so that is uh, what i wanted to talk about this week it was so interesting to me that i could be able to do this now in node.js and in the browser with some problems of course but it's really amazing that this can work but my main problem still stands i think right now node.js should be able to support imports without having to do any configurations imagine having to ship your code without the extra compile step it will be game changing i think a tool that has really tried to take advantage of uh, of es modules is a uh, vit js so vit also yeah, it's a build tool but does very little compilation of your code so all it does is just bundles your files together and uh, delivers them as is to the browser as a uh, yes imports so there's very little transpilation of your code in that process which makes it i think the fastest build tool that is out there currently so this can be done and i'm really excited about the direction that it's going uh, to take so that should be all thank you so much uh, for watching this video and uh, see you in the next one